So Pastor John MacArthur getting a little backlash after an interview he gave with G3 Ministries. And well, the comments have been sort of reminiscent of familiar and similar things that MacArthur has said regarding women. Well, we will dive in and discuss what happened here in just a second. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you try and hit that like button for me. Very important also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, wear the glasses because I'm blind. And guys, if you enjoyed my work here and you were able to help contribute to my ministry with a generous donation, a couple of ways you could do that. One, simply click the super thanks down below on this video here to make a one-time donation. You can also join my Patreon family for as little as five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. I set a goal for the month of April trying to get five new patrons. Guys, right now we are at three, looking for two more. Also trying to rebound from the month of March, where we unfortunately missed that goal. And with my Patreon, guys, you get alerted for all of my content. This is so important. If you only watch me through YT notifications, I guarantee you're missing a ton of my videos because they don't send them all out. So get on over to my Patreon today, where also you can comment on all the videos completely censorship-free. You can send direct messages. And as a bonus, a lot of people ask me, they said, hey, can you do a video talking about how you went blind? How do you even operate your entire ministry without being able to see? I answer all those questions and more in the video I did in the description. Check it out when you get a chance, getting some good reaction. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So what happened here? Pastor John MacArthur, he gave an interview here with G3 Ministries. And to reference some of the comments in the past, like I said, uh, that this sounded reminiscent of, you know, MacArthur was quoted several years ago when he was at a conference, he was asked about Beth Moore, uh, who, you know, describes herself as a Bible teacher and this and that. Look, and I'm no fan of Beth Moore by any means. Her her theological, you know, doctrine, her drift, uh, you know, to the left and her just it, it embracing all the, the left-wing propaganda, all that. I mean, it, it's it's disgusting, honestly. Uh, but, you know, regarding her comments and, and MacArthur referring to her as a female preacher, he basically told her to go home. Um, of course, MacArthur, you know, he he preaches that women should not, you know, assume the role of pastor in a church. And so he's no fan of Beth Moore. So he said those comments and he got a, a lot of backlash for it at the time. And, and there's a lot of things about MacArthur that I don't like, you know, either. But I'm certainly no fan of Beth Moore. Now, that all kind of ties in here with this interview. You know, they were discussing, uh, you know, Calvinism or some say Calvinism, you know, the, the emphasis... Um, of, you know, embracing, you know, the sort of, you know, this is all based off the reform of John Calvin, you know, the, the sovereignty of God. Um, and, you know, this counters to Armenianism, which is more about, you know, expressing free will. And the whole topic of Calvinism got brought up and MacArthur had referred, although he did not say by name here. Okay, so this is important. He did not mention this by name. That in fact, Alana, okay, Alana Ligaris, again, he did not mention her by name, but he said, I heard this wistful female the other day on the internet talking about how she left Calvinism and has now embraced Armenianism. And he basically said that it was a sophomore comment by Ligaris. Now remember, it's also, you know, a theological system that, you know, also embraces predestination, Calvinism. And he basically said this was a sophomore comment from Ligaris and that she should keep her thoughts to herself. So here's the tie-in with Beth Moore, okay? She should keep her thoughts to herself and leave this to the experts, referring to himself, MacArthur, who said that he's basically studied this and he's matched it with scripture for the past 50 years. So he is more of an expert than she is when it comes to this topic. Now, Ligaris has responded to this. In fact, I have both clips of what was said here by both of them, and I'll put them for you in the description below for anybody who would like to listen to them. But she said basically that she's always looked at John MacArthur as, you know, from this sister in Christ, you know, type perspective. She says she's, you know, seen him preach in conferences before. So she was really taken aback by the comments here that he said. And she said that you know, it was actually very rude. He sounds very proud in these comments that he says. And she says, I, I don't really understand why he has all the hostility. Now, if you take what Alana said here, she's right in the fact that does MacArthur sometimes come off as arrogant, prideful? Absolutely. 
Can I respect a lot of things about MacArthur? I can't. You know, I, I've listened to some of his teachings. I don't agree with everything that John MacArthur says. You know, as far as you know, being sound, as biblically sound, as far as, you know, all the immorality and stuff that's going on right now, he's, he's there 100%. Uh, and again, I don't ever put my faith fully in any pastor. I always put my faith completely in Jesus Christ. And I always encourage people, you know, read the word for yourself. Use discernment in all things. Don't blindly put trust in any one single individual. But a lot of Ligaris is right here. You know, why does he have this sort of hostility? You know, when he takes a pot shot here at, at Ligaris for a comment. Regardless of you believe, whether you believe Ligaris, you, you side with her more on the Arminianism or you're with MacArthur more on the Calvinism. Regardless, shouldn't there be a proper discord? Shouldn't there be, you know, communication in a loving way? That, that's what I'm really focusing in on here because MacArthur has a history of this, you know, of, you know, speaking especially women this way and i'm not gonna whether he hates women i don't know i i i really don't some think he does i'll leave that up to you uh, for, for you guys to decide if you think that or not i know Ch john MacArthur's also you know getting over uh you know surgery and everything like that he you know he fought to come back from and you know i i talked about that before in the past he was gone from several months uh, from grace community church before he made his return at the shepherds conference uh, just this last month so you know this Public, you know, trading back and forth here, barbs with each other, you know, over theological differences. You know, yeah, Kit MacArthur be a little bit uh, softer in his approach. Yeah, he's proven before in the past, though, that this isn't usually the approach that he takes. So I want to throw this out there to you guys. You know, however you want to address this, Calvinism versus Armenianism, what do you think? MacArthur against Ligaris, where do you stand on this debate uh, as a whole, you can let me know in the comment section for those that want to chime in. What I want to do right now, though, because this is, regardless of how you feel about all of this, this is something that I offer in all my videos. This is hope. This is an opportunity to get people to Jesus Christ. This should be really the ultimate that we're all, you know, searching for it in regards to trying to bring people to the kingdom. You know, battling theological differences and all of this. When we go to stand before God at the end of the day, it ain't going to matter. What matters is, did you accept Christ as Savior? Did you walk a life with Him? That's the question. So for anybody watching right now, if you've not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in that opportunity right now. This is a prayer that you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back in your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this down below. Again, you guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget, the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You guys can join my Patreon family by going to patreon.com slash conservative truth sign up for as little as five bucks a month help me with my goal for the month of april trying to get five new patrons remember we have three signups so far we're looking for two more also trying to rebound from the month of march where we unfortunately missed that goal you guys could also click the super thanks down below on this video here if you like to make a one-time donation it's all a great blessing thank you all again so much for watching i really do appreciate it i'll be back with more you guys take care please be safe out there god bless each and every single one of you I'll talk really soon.